Geek Seekers, I'm Nick. Third Gen Threadripper is right around the corner and all the motherboard vendors have been sending us boards to check out. Today, it's ASRock's turn with the TRX40 Tai Chi. We're gonna take a little bit of a close look at it and do the Gear Seeker thing that we usually do. So without further ado, let's, let's do that. Now these motherboard videos aren't reviews, they're just overviews so you can get an idea of what comes in the box when you buy a brand new motherboard and the feature set of the board, so what's physically on the board. Now we don't do VRM analysis or teardowns because it's just not something that we do here. We, 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 we feel like there's other channels that do that a lot better than we would, so we don't want to waste your time. With all that said, let's check out the TRX40 Tai Chi. Alright ladies and gentlemen, it's time for us to check out the TRX40 Tai Chi from ASRock. So, as usual, let's get the motherboard out of the box and out of the way so we can take a closer look at all of the accessories first. Alright, the first thing we've got is the quick installation guide. Let's get that out so we can take a closer look. The quick installation guide basically tells us how to configure the BIOS, it basically tells us how to install the CPU in the socket, and all of the stuff to get your system set up quickly. Next up is this standard ASRock postcard. Now I always joke about this, but if you actually want me to send you this postcard, let me know in the comments and maybe we could send it to you. Next up is this round circular device. Now the more I talk about this, the more I hope motherboard vendors listen to me and finally give us USB sticks with all motherboards. Yes, give us USB sticks. Next up is the software setup guide. Now this is also to do with how to set up the BIOS and it's to do with overclocking. And yeah, it's all of the driver setup and all of that kind of stuff. It's for first time users, make sure you keep that handy. Now these are all the screws for the M.2 slots on the board and the Hyper M.2 card that comes with this motherboard. It comes with an additional PCIe card that we're going to show in, a, in about a minute or so. Next up we've got this little torque screwdriver. Now this allows us to take the top of the motherboard off so we can put the M.2 screws in and yeah, it's to remove the heat sinks and fasten drives. It's a, it's a nice little addition to have with the board. Next up is the SATA cables or SATA cables and that's the plug-in your 3.5 inch spinning rust drives or your 2.5 inch SSDs. There's a Bluetooth 5.0 and Wi-Fi antenna that's also included because like I just mentioned this board does include Wi-Fi and Bluetooth 5.0. Next up is the Hyper Quad M.2 card, like I just mentioned. And yeah, basically this allows you to install four M.2 drives in a RAID configuration on this motherboard. Now this should work with other motherboards as well, but yeah, it does come included, which is quite nice. And we've seen Gigabyte doing this with their extreme boards too, but yeah, let's uh, pull the card apart and take a little bit of a closer look at the card itself to show you how you would actually go about installing drives on it. As I mentioned, the HyperCard M.2 card allows you to install four additional M.2 drives in your system, just as the name says, and yeah, this is the entire layout of the board without the top cover on it. And there's four PCIe M.2 connectors. It won't work with SATA drives, so if you've got SATA M.2, it will not work. It's also actively cooled with this fan, and there is actually a quite a good cooling solution here. It may not appear to be so, and there's also an additional six pin PCIe power connector for some extra juice for all of your drives. Okay, let's take a look at the TRX40 Tai Chi up close and personal. First up we've got the front panel audio connector, then there's a 12 volt RGB header and a 5 volt addressable RGB header, there's two PWM fan connectors, there's also a front panel USB 2.0 connector which is for your AIO or cooling solution basically, that's all they're used for these days two SATA connectors, there's a diagnostic LED screen, there's a reset button, a power button, and the front panel connectors for all your lighting and wiring. Next up there's a USB 3.2 header, there's also six SATA or SATA connectors for your 2.5 inch SSDs or your spinning ROS, another USB 3.2 header, a USB type C header, and a 24 pin power connector to send all of that juice to your brand new Threadripper Gen 3 system. There's another 12 volt RGB header and another 5 volt addressable RGB header. There's another PWM fan connector and an 8 pin EPS power connector for the CPU. Now if we take a look across the top of the board, you will notice there is an 
overkill actively cooled VRM heatsink and another EPS power connector to the right hand side of that or to the left hand side if you're looking at the board from a top down view. Because this is a TRX40 board everything on this motherboard is PCIe Gen 4 because the Threadripper Gen 3 chips have 72 PCIe lanes. Alright, let's speed it up and take the top covers off with that included torque screwdriver so we can see the M.2 slots. As I mentioned, there are two M.2 slots on this board. There's one to the left and there's also one to the right. Because this is TRX40 and much like X570, the chipset is also actively cooled. And yeah, that is the fan for the active cooling. This board also supports quad channel DDR4 memory and it uses a standard STRX4 socket like every other TRX40 board on the market. Now, the thing about this socket is it's not compatible with first and second gen Threadripper CPUs. It appears to have the same cooler mounting, but the socket layout is completely different to accommodate for PCIe Gen 4. And because it's 2019 and everybody loves to talk about VRMs, the TRX40 Tai Chi has a 16 phase digital VRM. And as you can see here, the cooling is more than adequate. There is a heat pipe connecting two giant heat sinks and the top heat sink is actively cooled as I showed a little bit earlier. And if we flip the board over to the other side, you'll notice it's got a, a mainly full cover back plate. It's also got RGB along the bottom edge of the board too. Well, if you're looking at it from the other way, it's along the right hand edge of the board. For the rear I.O., there is the Wi-Fi and Bluetooth 5.0 connectors. There's a BIOS flashback button. There's gigabit Ethernet and USB 3.2 ports and a PS2 port. There's a USB Type-C port. There's 2.5 gigabit Ethernet as well as some more USB 3.2 ports and 7.1 digital surround sound with that included integrated I.O. shield. All right, let's uh, do some cinematic stuff. I hope you enjoyed that first look of the TRX40 Tai Chi from ASRock. Now, as far as pricing is concerned, I've got no idea of the pricing. I don't know when it's coming out. We basically don't have any details, but I'm guessing it's going to be coming out on the 25th with all the new third gen Threadripper chips. But yeah, I can't be sure because we weren't given that information. I'll put a link in the description anyway uh, and update the pricing and all that stuff when it becomes available because chances are before I put this video up, I could get an email that tells me all of those details. But yeah, for now, 
there's not much to go on. If you like this video, please like and subscribe. If you don't like this video, you know what to do and tell us what you hated about it. Once again, thank you so very much for watching. I'm your boy Nick with Gear Seekers. You peek. We seek. And can I just talk about one feature on this board that was kind of surprising when I took it out of the box? Look at the VRM cooling. It's it's um it's a, it's a pretty yeah, good thanks. <laughs> it's crazy, right? Thanks for watching.